Hello from Bryson City, here with another free art lesson. Today, uh, we're going to be doing acrylic paint. I'm away from the water. Difficulties this morning with um, internet, mobile, signal. So, we'll see what happens. It's, I hope this is not another three-part video kind of thing. But um, I already got some stuff laid out, so I'm going to go ahead and flip around so you guys can see what I've got going on here. All right, so there's my brushes. I have water. I have two pre-stretched canvases. These are great. You can get these uh, online from uh, Dick Blick, uh, Jerry's Artorama, um, just a number of different um, locations that you can buy these. So these are pretty cool. Um, you can usually get multi packs. I know Michaels uh, has these in multi packs, and sometimes they're on sale, which is also cool. I also have my palette. Grumbacher Red, uh, the Blue, and then this was, um, let me grab the tube and I can tell you, Aqua Green, and some Titanium White. So just a variety of colors. I also have, uh, these are great. <clears throat> I'm going to show these because if you have problems like I do buying paint, you should uh, definitely. These are Valspar uh, samples that you can get at Lowe's. I usually buy these over in the mist tint section. Um, yeah, one of these will last quite a amount long, long time. So, but I have two different ones. I have this uh, blue which um, is more of a, in the, in the realm of acrylic paint, looks like more of a mixture of blue and maybe a little burnt umber, um, like a French ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And then I also have this green, which uh, is kind of a dark, in acrylic paint would equate to more of a dark uh, green. Uh, but both of these, uh, I paid a dollar, a dollar each. Um, how could you beat that for paint? So we'll be using. And my poor tube, look at that. There's not much left. We'll see if we can get some out of it, though. Maybe there's a little bit in there. All right. Just a little bit. We don't need much. Okay. So, for today's lesson, I'm not going to do anything in particular don't have a um, like a specific thing that I'm trying to do let me lower the camera down here Sarah Ramsey says hey hey Sarah Ramsey um, let me lower it down just a little bit more there you go now it's right in the center so I'm actually going to do something kind of similar to, to Bob Ross too much in the light here okay so I have all these great brushes so I'm going to start off, let's lay out a few. Um, I got some, my favorite brush is a filbert, which is this rounded end. Then you have your brights, which are squared ends. Like this would be a bright with a squared end. So what I'm going to start off with is just getting out a couple medium brushes. So I have a 18 filbert. Um, looks like a 12 filbert. We'll grab that... Uh, one bright that I had. That's a 12 bright. And one more. Some of these bristle brushes are starting to show their age. But these are fun brushes. These uh, chip brushes. You can get them with a long handle. And um, when you're working on a big painting. So... Um, these are also great, besides oil painting, if, you, um, if you're doing pottery uh, for slip, applying slip to the side of the pot. I say that because I see uh, Don Van Arsdale is watching. Hello, Don. So, all right. So here we go. I'm going to start off with uh, my bigger brush. I'm going to get a little bit of this uh, Thalo Blue. Some titanium white mix that together and we're just literally we're going to do the 
Let's save the Bob Ross. And um, they clean up with water. So I have my container of water here. A little bit more, pick up a little bit more titanium. Why? We'll come through. Take it all the way to the edge. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, I should leave it for, nah. Let's go ahead and get some more titanium white in there. Move it in a whole lot differently. It also causes the paint to kind of go matte. So when you're done, so I forgot to mention um, on these canvases, they are white. They are gessoed already from the factory, but um, you may find as you paint more often that that's not exactly your favorite kind of surface. So what I recommend is back to these mist tints and quartz. If um, these are, um, if you get a gallon or a quart, you can pre-prime your canvases with these. So for example, here's one that I've done earlier in a fabulous green uh, gallery wrap canvas. So again, green, green latex enamel, house paint, Acrylic gesso is latex enamel house paint, essentially. Um, there's a number of artists that I could, uh, I can think of that use the latex enamel um, to do underpaintings. Basically, they they paint their canvas that color, and there you go. All right, so first off, I'm just now using the what's left of the paint on my brush. Let me go ahead and push it all down in there. Okay, done with that. Into the water it goes. All right, next. I've got um, my filbert here. I'm going to pick up some more of this white, just the white. This is still pretty wet. So I'm going to come through. But they're Bob Ross fans, this might be your fix today. <laughs> and another one right here. Let's say um, a big one right here. call that and come in and get rid of some of this extra paint off my brush there we go we'll call that done okay another thing if you have um, you'll need some paper towels or if you have a, an old towel but this is what you can use to clean off your brushes dry your brushes later So, I've got this part done, and I'm going to come through with uh, a little bit of this uh, burnt sienna. And I'm going to pick up some of this yellow ochre here. This stuff is kind of dry, so I may have to really work it to get it to... There we go. Alright. So, we'll start here. Come up this way. I 
I'm going to use this outer tunic. I'm going to go ahead and make these mountains. While it's wet, I will be mixing in other mountains into it. Uh, with other colors, I should say. I picked up some of that uh, aqua green. I'm going to come back through here. Just like that. And while I'm at it, let's pick up a little bit more of our phthalo blue again. And come in here. Just like this. Phthalo blue over here. Just a little bit. And some back here too. And while we're at it, we'll put a little bit here and a little bit here right there and right there and maybe a little bit more right here just to kind of there we go so let's see can you hear me you lost the audio let's see Okay, next I'm going to pick up just a little bit of this red. A little bit of the red. Just come in. Put a, bit, a little bit of yellow over there. And right here too. Let's mix a little bit of white, a little bit of this yellow. Okay, grab some blue into that too. Got my brush. If you notice how I'm holding it, 
polish and the brush and then kind of layering it on. I'm going to set this aside and use this lid. Come back to that in a minute. Now, while whilst the this part dries, I'm going to work on these clouds up here some more. So, paper towel. going to kind of push it back and forth. I'll show you a trick here in just a second. Let me, I'm going to put a little bit down here and make it look like there's a little cloud down here where the mountains meet. A little bit more white up here. Okay. I'm gonna leave this like this on my brush. Get some of this, get some of this darker blue here. Just gonna come through really light. Now I'm wiping this directly onto the paper towel, so if I need to use some more of it later, I can. I'll hang, up, hang on to that. Some more white paint, some more white paint up here. Now, here's the trick I was going to show you. Using this end of the brush, just get down in here where that dark is and kind of blend it in like you're drawing. Screw all the are. Same thing up here. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And we'll get these little guys down here too. Make sure that no one's left untouched. Okay. While that's still wet and still a little bit of a mess, we'll come back through with that same brush tip again and smooth some of it out. Now would be a great time as well to add some more white. switch back to this little bit larger brush that we used before. Clean that off. Okay. Pick up a whole lot more white and here we go.
All right. What I'd like to do, because I don't think in the so the last thing I want to do is give our little brush again. Dry that off. And then I want to pick up just a little bit of this red. Okay. A little bit of the white. So they get a little bit of a pink. And then just come through. And a little bit of pink up here in the clouds. From, derived from that same red. Just like that. So now there's some harmony between the uh, between the two. I think the um, aqua green, just a little bit of that, a little bit of white. I'm going to come up and go do this cloud now. Still have a little bit of that red on my brush, so now I've got pink and the aqua green kind of happening together, which is okay. I'm going to put a little bit right there. And maybe some right there. All right. So you have it. If um, any other questions you have about this, please post in the comments. Be happy to. Uh, List a couple places that you can get supplies if you need to know. Uh, also, um, feel free to post your paintings in the comments. Love to see your work. Uh, thank you for those who have been posting drawings and stuff. I appreciate that um, a great deal. Um, also, this painting, um, just an FYI, this painting, I'm going to put it up for sale um, through my Etsy shop. So uh, once it's dry, you'll see it posted. But um, yeah, I'm going to sell it, and all the proceeds from the sale go directly to the Giving Spoon. So um, look for that, and if you're interested, um, that would be awesome. Um, went down there last Thursday and helped out. Uh, we gave out. I think they said it was over. So, otherwise, um, I look forward to seeing everybody's painting and uh, thank you for watching um, we'll see you next time um, I'm going to post later today what we'll be doing the rest of the week so everybody have a great day stay safe